What's up Star Wars fans and collectors, hope you're all doing really well. Uh, I've got another action figure review for you today. And it's the what you see exactly in front of you is the SH Figure Arts Anakin Skywalker from Revenge of the Sith. Pretty damn excited for this one. And I'll be honest, I wasn't before, just based on some of the uh, promo images from, from Bandai and Tamashi Nations themselves. Wasn't overly thrilled, but uh, seeing a few people online throughout Instagram post pictures of this this one, and seeing a couple of reviews, I decided to snatch it up and uh, have a have a look at it myself. And I'm, I'm glad I did. I'm, I really am glad. Um, this one's this one's pretty pretty damn good. Uh, there's definitely some flaws, um, as do most figures, which is fine. Uh, it gives gives us something to appreciate when there's uh, good things to find. <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyway, here's the box. There's pretty simple stuff with these boxes. Um, just showing it on video means I can now go and put it in the bin. But there's some of those promo images. Anakin on the side. Now I've definitely got his. I've definitely got his best face on because there's two. Two other faces you can switch out that sort of pops off just on that sort of hairline there. You can pop the faces off and add. Uh, you can swap them around for a couple others. Josh shows shortly, but I think this is definitely the best one. Now it's a pretty good likeness. I wouldn't say they've perfectly hit Hayden Christensen there, but uh, it looks like Anakin, um, which is which is important. It, it looks and feels like uh, uh, Anakin Skywalker. Which is which is a good thing. Try and get on my side close here. I re I really like it. I think he looks great. I'm um, looking looking to get Obi Wan next. The uh, episode three version. So other accessories. He comes with his lit lightsaber. Pretty nice. There is a bit of uh, silver paint running onto the blade there. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick that up with all the glare that's going on. I'm trying to shoot this in like early evening so it's not bright enough to have natural light and it's not dark enough to have, um, you know, <laughs> non natural light. That's so it's a little bit buggy at the moment, but yeah, you can sort of see a little bit of that paint that's bled onto the blade, but that's okay. So it comes with his unlit hilt, which has a peg, which does slot very nice and tightly onto the belt there, which is good. Comes with a couple of switch out hands. He's got his so the lightsaber holding hand and maybe also like force pinch, force choke. So it has that on the just a regular handle holding hand for the other hand and he has a set of fists like so, so we have a glove fist and a non-glove fist and then we have some force push hands as well so it looks pretty nice good options there now what we'll do is we'll just remove this face I'll do it quickly off screen all right, and here we have Screaming Face. I call it Liar Face. And, uh, yeah, it's growing on me. It's got a little bit of a sort of an anime feel to it. I don't know whether that's just the just the sort of shape of the face. I'm not sure, but I don't know. It's growing on me more and more. It's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But again, like I said, it definitely doesn't quite feel like Hayden. It's, but it, but it feels like Anakin, which is important, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks good. Now, yeah, mind me while I switch over for the third face, and here is the third face, and I'm so glad for editing because that took way too long. <laughs> 
So we get the sort of Sith eyes. Yeah, this is probably my least favourite. I like the, the like the look of the eyes, but I feel like his face and hair needs. I, I feel like it should have been a completely different head sculpt, if not a bit more tattered looking hair at the front. Because um, as you can see, that sort of that's the cut there around the front. So they could have made the hair look a little bit more messy over his face, uh, have a little bit more stress, and uh, even even just a bit of anger. Because he's got this quite blank quite blank look about him and it's it's good in this is it's good for what it is but I feel like it could be a little bit better and now I'll just switch back to the regular face and here we have him back and we'll have a look at some other elements the figure overall it looks nice really nice sort of the robes are really nicely detailed nicely sculpted it's nice and soft the sort of tabards here so you can allows for that sort of arm movement that's nice and soft around the back it looks good those buckles and pouches and stuff look cool little cylinders there on the side More cylinders and a pouch there. Now the buckles on his glove look really good too. Going down at the bottom of his tabards are nice soft malleable plastic. Same with the sort of underskirt there. We do have this sort of cutting over, that's okay. On the back. The creases in the uh, fabric looks good too, just the way it's been moulded. Pants, and then we've got his boots. And they look pretty, pretty nice. It's a good figure. I'm, I'm really happy I got it. Uh, articulation. It's got all the standard SH figure arts. Articulation. I don't know it all by name, so I'm not going to try. But uh, it's all pretty. Pretty awesome, great possibility. It's funny, in some angles he kind of does look more Hayden than others. I'm just looking at it there. front on not so much it's close but yeah very cool anyway guys thank you very much for watching let me know what you think in the comments below got some podcasts and stuff happening over the weekend i've got some other figures to look at i want to sort of overview so stay tuned for them, and until my next video, may the force be with you.